you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new content. We got some signature series cards. Now, these you guys typically do enjoy these kind of new, this kind of new content. I do too. I mean, they are really cool cards. They have cool animations cool card art the only issue with them is they're typically very very overpriced because they are limited time cards now in the past we've gotten Devonte adams mccaffrey desmond trufant and eddie jackson i think those are the last four we've told i think those are the total four we've gotten and the other limited time cards we've gotten bo jackson we do get the new mutt 10 card tomorrow that's another limited time card we're getting which is really really cool don't forget to play your solos for those also guys because obviously if you don't play those solos every week you do not get the players so just quick little reminder when they come out tomorrow make sure to play that solo as soon as you can the last thing you want to do is wake up Monday morning and realize you never did it, and then you end up getting screwed out of a free limited time Mutt 10 90 plus overall player. Now, guys, today's signature series are pretty cool. I've only seen one of them so far, but I imagine the other one's gonna be pretty cool too. This one I'd actually like on my team, although I don't think I'd ever be able to afford it on my team or could justify buying it on my team. But guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below, smack the sub button. We are over 7k, like I've been saying. We're get we're we're grinding out to 8k. Yesterday was a bit of a slower day, but we're still making progress. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to smack the sub button. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you already watch my channel and you're your supporter, uh, I post a lot of time sensitive videos, so it greatly it, it helped you guys out to turn on the noti bells to notify every time I post a brand new video. Because obviously when I make coin videos and I make market videos and content videos, a lot of that stuff, if you know right away, it works. And if you don't know right away, it's kind of ruined already. So just a little tip right there. And also, if you guys haven't already, drop a like on the video. I know it's a content video, so let's get 100 likes in this video. I'd greatly appreciate that. Now, these new limited time cards, I don't think they're showing up here yet. I'm going to back out just in case. But typically, these cards don't show right away. So I'm going to have to do these on Twitter. Because since they are limited time cards, obviously, they, you don't just pull them right away. Now, if you guys are looking to pull these players, what packs should you open for them? I really don't know. I'm going to go check the store to see what packs are in the store. But in my personal opinion, I don't think that any of these... I don't like have a single pack that I'd say would be the best one. I mean, gridiron packs have shown a lot of love to me. I've definitely liked the gridiron bundles. Now, an all a 10 elite bundle might could be a move with the 84 plus player. I've seen people pull it out of this. But again, I don't know how elite packs are. I have not opened them yet. So I don't have a personal opinion. But I do enjoy the gridiron bundles. Those have definitely been very good for me. Now, I'm going to check the auction block. I doubt they're up already, though, considering that typically they're not up for like the first 20 minutes of this game coming out. So I might do them on Twitter and or Mudhead, depending. So let's go over to, I believe, the 91 overalls. Let's go to newest. I doubt they'll be right here, though. Yeah, no, probably not. Let's see if I can filter by limited time card. Program. Yeah, see, I don't know why they don't have a limited time one. Oh, signature series. That's good right there. They have nothing up yet. So the first limited time that we have today is Cameron Jordan. That one has been announced. Now, Cameron Jordan's a great defensive end. I definitely love Cameron Jordan cards every year. Now, since he is a signature series card, though, I might not be able to have him on my team. And by the way, guys, my camera is dying, of course. So I might not be able to finish this video with a camera on, which kind of sucks. But you guys get the point. You see my face here. You guys you guys know what I look like already. So when it does die, as you guys can see, we're still gonna we're gonna rock it out and finish this video. Now, like I was saying about Cameron Jordan, he's typically decently fast with a good block shade, he's a good run stuffing, and he's a good pass rushing end. He's like a prototype dude kind of all, kind of like an Aaron Donald esque kind of card. And I'd imagine this one's gonna be probably the best end in the game. Although his price will probably go for close to a million coins at first. If you guys do pull him, I'd highly, highly recommend that you guys sell him as soon as you can because why wait? Like with with limited time cards, you kind of want to sell them within the first day or so because once you don't within a week they'll be down in price quite a bit now again i'm gonna check the auction block and if they're not up i'm gonna go search on twitter or mudhead to go find them because obviously i want to get this video for you guys out as soon as possible program signature series i'd imagine they're in packs already although madden i mean I, we all know that madden likes to get the packs out first and then give us the players they like to make sure people buy all their bundles they're never late on bundles as a whole so i'm gonna go check twitter in just a second to see if i can find these cards all right, guys, so I'm sure the first card is Cameron Jordan. He's got that little bull looking thing, so I'm pretty sure that means he can get unstoppable force. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Limited time. Can obviously be powered up. Got a nice little signature right there of Cameron Jordan. Cameron Jordan is a beast. 90 overall left end. He is 33 salary cap, which I don't know how many of you play salary cap, but just getting that out there. So he's a left end. He's not a right end, which hopefully you guys knew that. Now, he's six foot four. Which is pretty tall 74 speed which is a good speed for an end 81 excel which is really good for an end he's got 87 strength 85 tackling 93 play rec 86 block shedding 90 power moves and 68 finesse moves now 
His play wrecking is really good. His power move is really good. I wish his block shed was slightly higher. But again, if you power this card up and put a uh, pass rushing on him, the Kem and John Madden, this card will hit 90 above block shed. He did the threshold for block shed, threshold for power move. He already has the threshold for play wreck. So this card would be probably the best end in the game. And if not, at least within the top two or three. So I really do like this card. I would love to have it on my team, although I know I won't. I do have D-Law Nat, so I can't really, it would just be dumb for me to spend a million coins on the left. I want to have D-Law Nat. So as a whole, would I recommend this card to a Saints fan or someone? If you pull him, would I recommend keeping him? No, just because of the fact that you should always sell them. And then if you want, buy them back two weeks later for like half the price. Now, I did just see the reveal that it is going to be Philip Rivers as the next one, which is surprising because they had like a, a trend going of within the division. They had like every division, there'd be two cards from every division. And now Saints are obviously in the NFC and Chargers are in the AFC. So that did, that did change it. So predictions are going to be a lot harder week to week now because now it's all wild card. Like we don't know which is going to be which. But they did, Cam Jordan was really good, so hopefully so is Phillip Rivers. I will not imagine myself having Phillip Rivers on the team just because of the fact that obviously Phillip Rivers is a quarterback and I have plenty of other options there. Now, like I said, this uh, this oh, sorry, this Cameron Jordan card will probably go for over a million coins when he first posts the auction block, so I highly recommend you guys sell as soon as you can. Like Andrew Luck, was, people sold Andrew Luck for like four and five million coins, and now he's going for like 1.5 to 2 million coins i've seen him sell for so make sure you guys take advantage of that don't blow your chance with the market don't don't lose don't lose valuable coins and time by trying to hold it and play with it just sell it if you want to get one game in fine do it but i recommend you sell it as quickly as you can if you do pull it and if you guys do pull it comment it down below i love to see who pulls it or who even wants it because it is kind of interesting when people pull these cards they are very very rare so the next card is 90 overall qb philip rivers this card art's actually really cool i do really like this card art he has that Whatever that is, maybe that's Hot Rod Specialist or Hot Rod Master, whatever. I don't really know what that does. Looks like a looks like an army hat, like a captain hat. He's got a he's a limited time. Can obviously be powered up. You know, I was thinking that this thing just serious thing reminds me of Candyland. If you guys ever played Candyland when you guys were a kid, that is what that reminds me of. I don't know why, but little cool signature right there, Philip Rivers. It's really really abbreviated double P's. Looks like double P's, right? Anyways, so 36 in salary cap, 90 overall QB. He is six foot five with a 61 speed, so he's very very slow. Yeah, 83 throw power, which is very low. Throw accuracy short to 92. Throw accuracy mids in 88. Throw accuracy deeps in 87. Throw under pressures in 89. Throw on the run is a 75 and 91 play action. So stock, I do not really like this card. He looks like an underwhelming Kurt Warner. I for that speed, I'd rather just have Kurt Warner. And if I wanted more mobile, I'd definitely would rather just have an Andrew Luck, a Philip Rivers, or a Steve Young. Now Philip Rivers, Patrick Mahomes, Andrew Luck, or Steve Young. Now, if he did power up and come up, he would hit the throw accuracy short threshold already. He would hit, he would hit the throw accuracy mid threshold. He would hit the throw accuracy deep threshold and the throw under pressure threshold. And he already has the play action threshold. So he's kind of going to be like an overpriced Kurt Warner. And maybe he'll even come down to that price. But at the time being, he will be an overpriced Kurt Warner. Now, like I said, can't recommend this card. If you pull it, sell it right away. There's no point to hold it. He's like, Cam Jordan had good stats. I do not think this Philip Rivers stats justify his price, considering, like I said, and with the way this game plays, you'd much rather have a Steve Young or a Mahomes for the price, at least. And then if not, you'd much rather have a Kurt. If you want this kind of quarterback build, you're going to want a Kurt Warner, considering Kurt Warner is literally the same thing with better passing stats, and they're equally as slow. I mean, now, and then, like, as far as quarterbacks, so there's, another, there's, there's no more intangibles you can look for, like catching and stuff or break tackle. I mean, maybe he has a decent break sack, or break tackle but like even then i can't imagine it's that much better considering it's philip rivers so in my personal opinion sell both cards none are too dominant looking i mean like cameron jordan's obviously dominant looking because of his overall but he's not like so dominant that i have to I could justify spending that price on him over other types of cards now they're still not on the block of course because they're limited time cards i guess you know they're really rare to pull now i don't know if you guys know a lot of youtubers did pull these cards i remember like mmg vic toke um cc a lot of these guys did pull these cards last week of course i did not if you guys know me or been following this channel you know that i have not pulled a limited time card in my whole madden career and mind you i've been playing since madden 13 which means i was 13 years old and i have not pulled one since i was 13 i'm going on i'm already 19 i'll probably hit 20 without a single limited time pull of course because that is madden and i do not have pack luck like that i've never really had i always had pack luck but not insane pack luck like i've had like Eh, pack look like I get consistently good things. I don't get amazing things now guys That is about it for the video coming back here to the man screen checking the auction block I still see nothing guys. So that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy I hope this gave you guys a little insight on what you should be doing with these cards I will probably have a market talk video for you guys today going over the market and then whatever else I could think of because I haven't really done my video ideas for the day yet But you know, I always drop at least three for you guys a day. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smack the like button, give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Also, if you haven't already, drop a sub on the video. Drop a sub for the channel. Grinding out to 8K. Let's make that a reality. I've always wanted to hit 10K. I never thought we'd get there that soon. So if we hit it within the next month or so, I'd be very, very happy. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, turn on the noti bell. And comment down below if you want these cards or if you plan to even try to pull these cards. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.